Multisite Gateway Pro technology enhances the classic gateway cloning protocol by allowing you to clone up to four regions at one time. In this video, we'll use an example creating a clone that has a poll promoter, two multiple cloning sites, and a reporter gene. For this project, I've already loaded inserts into the cloning project's inserts folder. We can now choose cloning, multi-site gateway pro cloning to open the rest of the cloning project window. I'll click on the first insert and then shift click on the final insert to select all of them. Then I'll drag and drop them into the fragments area. Note that they appear in the same order in which they were listed at left. However, this is not the optimal order for the expression clone. So the next step is to drag and drop each of these four fragments to the correct position. And now they're in the order in which they should appear in the finished clone. The next step is to choose a vector from the vector drop-down menu. A large number of popular vectors are installed with Seek Builder. You can also add custom vectors to the list. If you do intend to use a custom vector for gateway cloning, it must meet specific requirements which are described in the Seek Builder help. For this project, we're going to select one of the included vectors named PDEST8. To see a preview of the clone, we'll click the Try It button. I'm going to look at the fragments and make sure they're in the proper order. The preview looks as expected, so we can click Make It. In the Project tab, note that a new folder has been added containing four amplified inserts, four entry clones, and the final expression clone. The icons at the left let us know that the four amplified inserts are all linear, and the expression clones are all circular. To open the final expression clone in Seek Builder Pro's document window, we'll double-click on the last item on the list. The top pane of the window shows the simulated expression clone in the circular view. In the bottom pane of the window, I'm going to click on the History tab to open the History view, and then I will increase the size of that so that we can get a better perspective. So in the History view, we are now seeing the cloning summary which includes three parts. The first is the fragments area showing a color-coded map of the clone. Below that is a nine-step cloning procedure, which lists the primers needed for each step. And at the bottom is a fragment junctions area. This uses the same color scheme as the fragments area did above. The cloning summary is saved when you save the project, and it can also be copied to your clipboard or printed for later reference.